All right. I got this uh, reconnected. Um, I ended up brazing this piece on to the shaft. I think I mentioned that in another video. But anyway, I had to go back and and reattach this piece to the other part of the half shaft, <laughs> quarter shaft. But uh, anyway, turn that. As you can see, it turns the motor. Go back the other way. Nothing happens. The issue I was having <clears throat> was I think I had the timing advanced a little too high and the engine would kick back a little before it fired off. And it would um, kick back against the grip of the one-way roller clutch and cause the sprags, I guess is what it's called, to flip the other way and it would bind up and try to fight against the engine instead of sitting still while the engine was running. Uh, but anyway, I've got a new uh, one-way roller clutch on the way and uh, I'll try and fire it off. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the engine spinning first and then hit the on switch and cut the starter off uh, hopefully to prevent it from doing that. I did retard the timing back a little bit by turning the pulley clockwise the same direction the engine's turning. Anyway, I set it up to where it fired a little bit later. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Wait a minute, hold that thought just for a second. I need to do something with that exhaust cube from spraying my microwave. I am test running it in the house but I don't want fuel debris all over my microwave so hang on okay I'm back I know that's just a kind of a shady way to do it but that's just to keep the fuel uh, debris you know the caster that's left unburned or whatever that blows out the exhaust Keep it from blowing all over my microwave and other things like the counter. So here we go. It may smoke a bit, but that's all right. Here goes. Oh. Ha. See what I mean? I'm turning the well yeah flip back it should free spin this way not uh oh Yeah. Now if I take in hold the motor and do like like this. There. If you heard that click, I just flipped the sprags back the other way. Uh just cut the ignition and fan off. Oh boy, hello, a little blur here, hold that thought, yep, it didn't clear up, 
All right. Wipe it. There we go. Now yeah, we're in focus. All right, let's try again. There, that's it. It does run. I killed it before it filled the house up with smoke. Don't want to do that. So this uh, system does work, but uh, that one-way roller clutch bearing uh, is kind of uh, screwed. But uh, it does work. So... And I've got to adjust some other little, uh, address some other little issues and stuff. I'm seeing a lot of condensation up here. Um, I don't know. There is some little issues um, that I'll address. But until next time, that is all.